Welcome, everybody. Sincere thanks for joining in. I'm just doing a quickie video today to ask for prayers. Next Monday is the 9th of May, and the 9th of May is always celebrated in Russia as Victory Day. And all the indications are that Vladimir Putin had planned to be able to announce at his victory event the Russian victory in Ukraine. During his visit to Rome some time ago, the Hungarian prime minister or dictator, Viktor Orban, told Pope Francis, he said, the Russians have a plan that everything will end on May the 9th. Now, thankfully, at the moment, there is no great victory for him to announce. But it is quite likely that over the next few days that there will be an intensification of the war as Russia scrambles for something for Vladimir Putin to be able to announce next Monday. And also, if he has little by way of victory to announce, what will he do then? Will he announce all-out war on Ukraine, allowing him to conscript all men of fighting age to the army? Will he, in frustration, turn to the nuclear option? These are all very real questions. And I would suggest that we have until Monday to pray for a better outcome. They have been building up to May the night. And we need to build up to it as well, spiritually. We have just five days left from today. We need to do everything in our power to call down the power of God. Lord Jesus, we cry out to you. We cry out to you at this time for an end to this war. That by your mighty power, that this war may be brought to an end. That by your mighty power, that there may not be nuclear war. We cry out to you, Lord Jesus, to work upon the mind of Vladimir Putin and upon the minds of his associates. Lord, that they may have a Damascus Road experience, that they may have a real conversion of their minds, that they may wake up to the fact that what they are doing is most gravely wrong, most gravely wrong, that is placing not just the world, not just U Ukraine, but their own eternal souls on the path to ruin. Lord Jesus, by the power of your Holy Spirit, we pray that you will work upon Vladimir Putin's mind, that you will restrain him in his thinking, that you will have, lead him to have a conversion from thinking the wrong way to thinking the right way. We pray, Lord Jesus, for the Ukrainian people. Miracles of protection, Lord Jesus. We pray for miracles of protection and miracles of wisdom for the Ukrainian people and the Ukrainian leadership. And we, we pray for those still caught in the steel plant in Mariupol. Protection. Somehow, Lord Jesus, may they be protected. Somehow, Lord Jesus, may they be rescued. May some form of rescue become possible for those in the Mariupol steel plant. We pray, Lord Jesus, for the conversion of Russia, for the conversion and the deliverance of Ukraine, and that our own Catholic Church will walk in your ways will walk in your ways and become a conduit, a blessing. We'll listen to you rather than listening to the world. We unite with the consecration carried out by Pope Francis on the 25th of March. Mother of God and our mother, to your immaculate heart we solemnly entrust and consecrate ourselves, the Church and all humanity, especially Russia and Ukraine. Grant that war may end and peace spread throughout the world.
sometimes as I think of next Monday, an image comes into my mind of what it was like on the Titanic just before the iceberg struck. There they were, enjoying themselves, making small talk, doing all their usual things. When the iceberg struck, it was too late. We have until Monday. I pray for the grace for myself to storm heaven. I pray for the grace to truly cry out to heaven from the depths of my heart every moment between now and next Monday. And I pray that grace also for yourself. We can make a difference. Together we can make a difference. Together we can help bring about a change in the course of world events. Together, if enough people join, a real miracle can take place. And for that miracle we pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you and thank you.